fantastic time of year. The holidays, everyone's excited. Amazing time for moviegoers. So many great movies out there right now. There must be 15, 16 movies on my list that I just must see. The problem is, hard to know which films to go and check out. Movie tickets, pretty expensive. What is it now? It's $50 a ticket now, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's very expensive, and people want to know which film should I check out, which film should I skip. So I thought this is as good a time as any for another edition of Conan on the Isle. <laughs> It's, uh, don't woo that horrible song. Uh, now, folks, a lot of movies to check out. Our first feature that we're going to talk about is Lord of the Rings. All right? This is, uh, yeah, this is, okay. There are some nerds here tonight. Uh, hooray! Go, Gandalf! Beware the troll! That's, that is so unfair. Here it's a good movie. I'm gonna check it out. No, it's the second installment of the series. That's correct. And uh, <laughs> and once again, it's a beautiful film to look at. It's gorgeous. Unfortunately, there were just too many times when I was reminded of the actual filmmaking process. Let me explain. They have all these gorgeous helicopter shots in the Lord of the Rings movies, um, but I could I could never forget that that's what they were helicopter shots. You know, and that took me out of the movie. It was too obvious. They should have disguised that fact a little better. You'll see what I'm talking about when I show you this clip. Take a look. Their pace has quickened. They must have caught our scent. Hurry! Four helicopter crashes. That took me out of the film. That was bad. Now, another problem with the film was the dialogue. Now, most of it stays pretty true to the medieval feel of the picture. Occasionally, though, they'd throw in a line that was just trying to be politically correct, you know, for the year 2002. These lines always seem to me very forced and inappropriate. They should have not tried to be politically correct. They should have let that go. Take a look at one example. business. There's an elf, a man, and a dwarf having the rid of Mark. Give me your name, horse master, and I shall give you mine. I would cut off your head, dwarf, if it stood but a little higher from the ground. They prefer to be called little people. It's a good point. It's what they prefer, but that just ruined the whole scene. All the tension was gone. There's a whole scene about wheelchair access in a bathroom, but we'll talk about that later. Another problem with the film was the subtle anachronisms. Like when Frodo and Sam are wandering lost through the mountains, they suddenly come across something that seems totally out of place in Middle Earth, and it bothered me. Take a look. Looks strangely familiar. Because we've been here before. We're going in circles. Oh, what's that orange stink? Or oh, there's a nasty bug nearby. Can you smell it? Yes. I can smell it. Necessary? I didn't think so. All right, our next feature is the highly anticipated drama Gangs of New York. All right, it's Martin Scorsese's epic look at the underworld of 19th century New York City. And it's a fantastic looking movie, but unfortunately, I think there's a real problem with historical accuracy. 
Okay, the climax of the movie occurs in 1863 during the New York City draft riots. Now, though President Lincoln may have indirectly caused the riots, President Lincoln's involvement was nothing like the film suggests. All right, here's the climactic scene where Daniel Day-Lewis is talking to Leonardo DiCaprio about killing his father. Lincoln's role is clearly overstated here. Many historians are upset. Take a look. I killed the last honorable man 15 years ago. Since then, the priest and me, we lived by the same principles. It was only faith divided us. Abe don't like bad guys. <laughs> I mean, I don't think... There's very little to suggest that Lincoln had a bazooka. That's all I'm saying. All right, our last feature is Made in Manhattan. It stars Jennifer Lopez as a hotel maid who's mistaken for a rich socialite by handsome, young, future senator Ray Fiennes. Now, it's actually not so bad as these things go, but I was disturbed by one thing, the surprising cameo by J. Lo's ex-boyfriend, P. Diddy. He has a cameo in the film. It happens when Lopez and Fines go for a walk in Central Park. It was totally out of place and wrong. Take a look. Hey, do you want to sit down? Um, sure. Hey, over here. Okay. Oh, cool. Don't get dirty. Hey, baby, what's up? Oh, Lord, I almost sat on your face right there. Hey, that's cool, baby. Go right on ahead. One more ride for old time's sake, huh? Before you go marry that big old dope. Oh, yeah, baby. That's good. Oh, I missed that big old thing. That was... That's not right. Or is it? I will take a little break. When we come back, Rosie Perez is here. Good show tonight. Stick around with us.